Hello everyone. In this problem, we are to find the value of A so that the line passing through the points, the coordinates of 1 and A and 4 and negative 2 is perpendicular to the line passing through the points with the coordinates of 3 and negative 1 and A and 1 third. Recall that two lines are perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocal of each other. So first, we need the slope of each line using the equation for this slope which is a rise over run or the vertical change over the horizontal change. So for the first line, let P1 coordinate of 1 and A. So here is my X1 and A is my Y1. And P2 has the coordinate of 4 and negative 2, which will be our X2 and Y2. Now we substitute the coordinates into the slope equation and we'll get negative 2 minus A over 4 minus 1. We simplify, we'll get M one with the slope of the first line to be minus times two plus a divided by three. We'll do the same procedure for the second line, letting p1 with the coordinate of x1 and y1 and p2 with the coordinates of x2 and y2. So we substitute in the slope equation and after simplification, we get one over three plus one on the numerator and a minus three in the denominator. In the numerator, we can combine one third and one and we'll get four over three. And then we can multiply both numerator and denominator by three to eliminate the fraction on the numerator. So we get the slope of the second line to be four divided by three times a minus three. Now having the slope of both lines, we can go ahead and use the relation between the slope of two perpendicular lines. So we equate the slope of the first line to the negative reciprocal of the other and solve for a. We know that one over a fraction, we flip the numerator and denominator of the fraction upside down. So we'll get negative two plus a divided by three for the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we get negative three times a minus three over four. Now we multiply both sides by negative one to eliminate both negatives in the equation. Then we cross multiply to eliminate denominators and we get four times two plus a equals nine times a minus three. We distribute four and nine into the binomials and we'll get eight plus four eight equals nine a minus 27. We group the like terms on the same side so moving the A terms to the left and numbers to the right, and then we combine the like terms. We get negative 5A equals negative 35. And then finally, we divide both sides of the equation by negative 5 to solve for A. So A is equal to 7. Thanks for watching.